Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the n integers as the input and sort the integers having same unit digit in the in their position and finally the program must print the n integers as the output so we'll take our first test case the program is simple that is we have to just sort the integers having same unit digit in their position so in this test case you can see that first we have 32 so unit digit is 2 so other integers with unit digit 2 are 62 and 42 so now we'll sort these numbers so it becomes 32 42 and 62 so now we will change this in the list so 32 is as it is and here after 32 it should 42 and 62 so now we have done for unit digit 2 next we have 5 so the numbers with the unit digit 5 are these um, are 11 let us sort them so now we will sort them by adding in the list here it is 15 here it is 35 here it is 65 and here it is 95 as it is also here it is 95 and then we'll move to the next integer with unit digit 6 so it is already in a sorted way so we'll leave it then we have 78 so we have only one 78 so we'll leave it so this will be our output now we'll take our another test case so in this test case we have four integers so all integers are with unit digit 0 so we'll just sort these numbers so 50 500 570 and 5180 so this will be our output Now let us implement our program. First, we'll get the integer n, that is the total number of integers, and then we'll get the n integers as array list. And then now we can use any sorting method. So we'll use bubble sort. So for in one, in range, zero comma n minus one and for index 2 in range in 1 plus 1 comma n and we'll check the condition that is if the array of into 1 mod 10 is equal to equal to array of into means array of into mod 10 means 
then if the unit digit are equal then we'll check the sorting condition that is array of int 1 greater than array of int 2 and then we'll just swap them that is array of int 1 comma array of int 2 is equal to array of int 2 comma array of in one so now finally we'll print asterisk array so now let us run our program we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output as you can see first the unit digit with two has been sorted and now we'll pass our second test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Now we'll pass our third test case. Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.